Hey fam, it's Mama Bear and I am back. I was recording and it got interrupted. So I'm gonna rewind a little bit. Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today is Traveling Tuesday. So I have $70 to work with, plus I had a rollover of two, $4 from the previous time. I've already scratched number one once for $9. Yeah, nine dollars and i scratched number two for six dollars and also for fifteen dollars so that one has 31 dollars in it so far so let's keep on going number one number one and number two are getting a lot of attention today <laughs> so let's see what we got this time all right the smooth five i love the way this one scratches off so nice the sewers has some really great things on her etsy shop um so how was your weekend I had a really restful weekend. Uh, the week doesn't seem to be too busy, so I'm excited for some, one, two, three, four, a continuation of a nice restful weekend. Ooh, that's smooth. That's like butter. Nice. I love this one as well. I'm usually not a fan of the laminated challenges because um, they have a glare on them, but that's nice. So five. Seven. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, let's see. Where it is? Oh, there it is. And we'll do. Hmm, let me roll for this. There's too many. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seventies. So seven dollars. One, two. There's my little bear in the background in another room, but surprisingly just as loud. <laughs> so let's see. This one is the little telephone challenge. I believe this one is also by um, the Thrifty Sewist. It's either the Thrifty Sewist. I'm pretty sure it's the Thrifty Sewist as well. Let's see what this is. It says, get that money. And this has a phone number on it. And then there's an underlined number. What I've been doing is adding all the numbers up together. If it's multiple things underlined. But it looks like this one only has a four underlined. So that's pretty nice. That means we're only saving $4. Hopefully I have four more ones. One, two, three. It's one back here. I'll go next door. Got a six. Put these two shoes back. Put the four dollars back, and we'll get a ten. So I still have some semblance of change. I'm happy to be back um, doing my savings challenges. It's been a rough couple weeks, but I'm glad to be back at it. I'm also super happy with the number of subscribers that I've been seeing. Definitely um, had an uptick of subscribers, I believe. Um, when I saw it last night, I was up to 56. So we're moving right along. So thank you for your support. Number 10, number 10 here, 6, we're back at the little, it says save now, have fun later, uh, yeah, amen, uh, sometimes that saving also means sacrificing some of the fun that you can have now for a better future. I was watching um, Shea Budgets yesterday. It's a YouTuber that I watched, ooh, I don't know. Uh, let's see, at least for the last six, seven years, uh, she does budgeting as well, but she was making a good point about how just in your savings journey, your wants and your needs and your drive changes. And it was just like so 
it's so true. Like, yes, you want to save money. But you also want to live life and you don't want to feel bad about not going hard, quote unquote, um, as you once did, especially when you made it to where you want to be. So um, eight plus seven is 15. I put the 15 in there. Um, when you made, made your major, set yourself up to be where you want to be. There's no shame in slowing down a little bit and enjoying the fruits of your labor. So we left off on seven, one, two, three, four, so eight. All right, we're down to the last couple of dollars. Let's see how many dollars we have, just $2. So I'm just gonna scratch off a two from this one, just so I don't have an IOU. And that'll give this one some attention because I think everything else you yeah, got some attention except for this one. So um, yeah, so no matter where you are in your journey, whether you are saving a small amount, like I normally do about, about 15 to the most I have is this day, which is $70. I usually do 80, but this weekend I can only, this weekend I can do 70. That's totally okay. Some weeks, like for the past few weeks, I haven't been able to save anything, but I was still able to take care of my bills, which is the most important thing. So it's a journey. Like I just got a challenge the other day that said slow progress is still progress. All the tiny amounts save up to big savings as the almost organized owl says. So everybody has the same message that no matter how much you're, how much or how little you're saving, it still counts. So keep that in mind whenever you're feeling discouraged or you're feeling like you're not where you wanna be, you can't compare your journey to anybody else's. Just compare yourself to where you were yesterday or last year or last month, and as long as you're doing a little bit better or you're feeling a little bit better, because sometimes it's not always about the money. If you're feeling a little bit better than you were before, that's a huge benefit. So take the grace that you need and keep motivated and keep going. I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now. Bear hugs.